The first step in building your shelf is creating your brackets that are going to go on the shelf. These actually are supposed to be set in an inch. The student didn't follow directions, but uh, I'm using it as a sample anyway because they have a nice design. The purpose of the bracket is to help support the top shelf. So the top of the bracket should be straight and flat uh, and align with that. And obviously the back corner needs to be square. So this uh, part of the board you really don't do anything with. The front, you can create a design. Um, you really want your bracket to be pretty long because we're gonna be putting two screws through the back and one through the top to attach the bracket to the shelf. You also want it to be pretty thick. If it's too skinny, um, then the screw might go right through the bracket and poke out of the bracket. So you want it thick, you want it long, you can do any shape you want. If you look at the Google Doc, the website I created, you can um, see some different design recommendations. Um, the more curves you have, the more relief cuts you'll have to make. Um, the more difficult the cut will be, the more difficult it'll be to get the two brackets to look the same, the more sanding and probably filling uh, cracks you'll have to do. Um, so a simple design, there's nothing wrong with a simple design. It's practical um, and it's gonna be a little easier uh, than doing a really fancy, really curvy design. So you want two pieces of wood for your bracket, these uh, pieces of bracket wood, and you want one piece of poster board cut roughly the same size as the bracket. And you're gonna take one of these, we're gonna draw a little design on there, and cut it out and put that design on both brackets. So like I said, the top and the back should be left alone and then I'm just gonna take and make a design. And so that's gonna be the design for my bracket. I always use marker when I'm doing video. It helps you guys see the lines I'm drawing. I always recommend you do things in pencil so that you can erase if you make a mistake. Okay, so now you're gonna get a pair of scissors and you are going to cut the design you just drew. That's the shape I wanna put on both of these brackets. But it's full length, it's pretty thick up top at least, and even at the bottom, it's not too thin. Place this over the first bracket, try to square it up to top and back as best as I can, and draw or trace this design on my bracket. Then I'm going to take the same piece, put it on my second bracket, and draw the design on my second bracket. At areas where there are curves, you want to create relief cuts. Hopefully you remember that from the CO2 car. So anywhere where I can see that I'm going to be turning the piece of wood to create a cut, like I turn here, and then I'm going to turn there, and then I'm going to turn there, those are areas where I want to create relief cuts. And now we're ready to take these to the scroll saw and cut them out.